Hi guys, it's a girl with little matams, also known as Gelawapa Z, girl from Zambia. If you're new on this platform, please remember that I have a YouTube channel. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's simply Lila Motams. And I go by the slogan, Prezidobe Gelawapan said. Thank you. Thank you so much for tuning in onto this live stream. Tell me where you're watching me from. Our protest is still on. I'm wearing black. Hope you're wearing your black as well. Tell me where you're watching me from and share this video. Congratulations to those of you who have decided to protest. And I am so glad and proud of each and every one of you that has, you know, short videos, taken pictures, be it at the embassy, be it at home. Uh, the main uh, thing is that we have done this. We have done it. We have done it. Never underestimate the power of social media. Social media is very powerful. It's a powerful tool. I know uh, some of you may mock what is going on, but believe you me, we have made an impact. It's never been done in history where the youth of Zambia arise this way. We've, we've really, really risen and everybody is scared. I just listened to an amazing audio. Yes, uh, people get to send me audios and um, now the whole movement is being shifted onto the opposition party. The opposition party has funded us, but hey, we've never been funded. And obviously in the UK, before you can protest, you need permission from the police. And uh, none of us obviously have done it because of even COVID-19. There's no way um, it was going to be possible. But individuals have gone there to take pictures with banners, which is a very, very good thing. Uh, to happen. Thank you so much wherever you're watching. Oh, South, yeah. <laughs> we have done it. I'm wearing black. Look, when I started uh, studying my uh, master's in gender conflict and human rights law, there's a particular module which uh, talks about um, advocacy through film. Now, there's a guy who was trying to get a story out there about this Ugandan leader. He's a rebel leader that um, was abusive he was using young kids to be part of his gang, was raping children. It only took social media for everyone out there to know about this guy. So when, I've, when I see the ignorant posts that uh, some people are posting saying, oh, they were in the bush, this is rubbish. I just look at how, you know, backward some Zambians are. You know, social media is a very powerful tool. Uh, Ian Motambo's um, video of his body being moved from, is it in, in Pika or where the accident was, up to where he was supposed to be buried using a uh, chopper, um, is over 70 million views. And I think that video must be 1 billion by now. Uh, how did it happen? Through shares. You know, and when we were watching the live stream on whichever platform, whether it's Biflo, Pilato, Mr. Mukuka, it was emotional to watch. You know, from the time they started the national anthem, they sang even the old one, the, you know, the, the older version, which is touching. And it, it was emotional. I mean, why should our youths be denied access to protest in the streets of Zambia when they've asked for permission well in advance. And all they wanted was just the police to be there to protect them, to provide security. And then uh, Mr. Kampiongo decides to threaten. The police chief decides to uh, issue statements of breaking bones. And, and that touched me. And my prayer throughout was, I don't want to see blood. I don't want to hear anybody, you know, dying. But look, we are all alive and well, no tears. Their plan was to do whatever they could. They've wasted their fuel, they've wasted their time, probably woke up at 4 a.m. in the morning. Police patrols have been flying around Lusaka, every corner. My team traveled from Ndola. Part of my team traveled from Mandola, and they were like, we just seen police cars all over, you know, and 
We confused the enemy. We confused the enemy. We confused the enemy and we managed to succeed. So well done. Um, Wesley's, um, you know, speech was touching, powerful. She talked about Vespas. When, you know, Vespas died, the Unza students did march across Lusaka. It was very, very, very painful to watch that this young lady who was going to be the only graduate in the family died that way because of police brutality. Have the police been punished? Have they brought to, been brought to trial? No, we don't even know where the case is now. We sang hymns and songs about that and the case is quiet. And then b -Flo's song touched me as well. You know, when he was saying, we are now being treated like animals, animals, animals in our own land. We have to protest in the bush. Honestly, that was powerful. I don't know what you think, but that was very, very powerful. You can imagine preparing all the streets, Levy Mall, Manda Hill, Arcades, put police everywhere. And all these are at home. And the main ones who are running the protest are in a bush you can't even find. Unless they have special uh, ways of tracking people if they have drones and everything they would have found them but it was beautiful to watch to see pilato you know leading um the protest uh michael zulu our legend like everybody played their part beautifully it was so nice to watch and, and to be honest <laughs> mr campion yeah yeah dry Yes, because your plans have failed. Your plans to show the youth a lesson, to teach them a lesson uh, have failed. Now, let me explain to you about the bush, my understanding, right? When we are alive and well, we walk around the streets freely. When we die, we go away to the bush, to the graveyard. And that place is sacred because you never find police patrolling the bush will they no they'll be in the streets where people are but the place is sacred you can reflect on this earth why are we here why are we being mistreated maybe the gods of zambia the spirits of zambia the ancestors of zambia can speak to us and you know can speak for us that's why the bush was a significant place to be. 10-0. Tuabadia. Tuabadia. We know we know. So 10 zero. It's a sacred place to be. I've done a video on my YouTube channel um, where I was talking about Abba Kiari, a Nigerian um, chief of staff. I'm talking about before you can speak to Muhammad Buari, you need to speak to Abba Kiari. Abba Kiari was in charge. When I mean in charge of Nigeria, he was in charge. He would fly from Nigeria to London for a chest pain to be treated in the hospitals in the UK. Now, coronavirus has played a significant role and we have seen certain things happen. So, countries are on lockdown. Even Britain, we are on lockdown, like total lockdown. And he suffered from some problems. He couldn't fly back to London like he normally flies. Guess what? He was being treated in Nigeria. In the same hospitals that fellow citizens go to that they've never bothered to make them better. And he died. And my introduction to that video was... No matter, regardless of how you lived on this earth, six feet under is your destiny. So how you live on this earth now is what people will talk about. What legacy are you leaving behind? Well, guess what? When Abba Kiari died, Nigerians celebrated. Would you blame them? They are also disgruntled youths who've never been heard. 
Each time they want to speak to Buari, it's impossible. Each time they send a message, it's impossible. So the main guy who speaks to Buari dies, they celebrated. And guess what? He died like Friday, Saturday, Sunday. He was buried because it was a quick burial. The following week, Muhammad Buari replaced him. Now you see, what our leaders don't understand is that today they may be in leadership, but tomorrow they will not be in leadership. At one time, Chiluba was the, I say Chiluba because that's the way the Ghanaians say it and the Nigerians say Chiluba. Chiluba was the most powerful man. Very nice height. He would dress powerfully, smart man. The time when they were even discovering his um, warehouse full of clothes and shoes. The man had shoes you've never seen before. Where are those shoes? Where is he now? Dead and gone. You see, power is sweet. But it is how you run the country. That makes you a leader that people can recognize. Imagine the Tanzanian president. I've done a video about him. Magufuli. He says, I don't want a third term. But the man is doing great things. He says, I don't want a third term. Look, whilst it's sweet. Whilst everybody knows me as John Magufuli, a great man that has stood for the people of Tanzania, that has said, regardless of what they say about COVID-19 in Tanzania, this is how we are running our country. He says, I want to leave. Now, the Tanzanians will always be clapping for him. Our current government, I'm telling you, when they leave their seats, Next year, because they will, it will be an embarrassing sight. Because majority, none will be celebrated. Mm. Abusing of power, position. Chela Tukuta is in a cell from a Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday with no case. Because if Chela has a case in Lusaka, why is Nchela in Lusaka Magistrate's Court dealing with this issue? They have had to force a foreign investor mm. who deals in oil to sue Chela. The guy doesn't even want to do it. But because we need a case, we need a case, they've taken him to the copper belt and he's going to lose anyway. He will lose. There's no way Chela can just wake up today and start giving information. There's no way I can just wake up today and start giving information. People tell us, look, I don't care whether their WhatsApp group are private. Their audios are being sent to me. This is what we're discussing today. I'm talking about their private WhatsApp groups. They will send, within themselves, they're fighting each other. Within themselves, they want to resign. They've seen the corruption. They, there's no way they can expose this thing. So they look at who is vocal and they use that person. At least speak for us. And none of us have been paid. I've never been paid. This is 10 pounds. This is 10 pounds. This is a lot of money in Zambia, right? 220 kwacha. In this country, it can buy me a lot of food. I'll survive on it. So, why do I need anyone to pay me? What will, if they pay me, what type of payment will they pay me? When I've survived alone in this country, no father, no mother, on my own since I was 19, 20, 21, up to 37 years old, 16 years in this country. How many people is the opposition going to pay? How many are they going to pay? That is a PF propaganda. I was never involved in politics, never have been. That's why I'm not affiliated with any political party. But when people are complaining to me about the Chinese, this is the way we are being treated. The video is on my YouTube channel. I wept in that video. I cried like a baby. 
Why should my Zambian people be left in such a condition and a minister of mines turns up there and reports lies on ZNBC to say all the mine workers are being treated well by the Chinese. And I will sit back and relax because I don't care. I can afford juice. It's very affordable here. Very cheap. I can afford a good life. I can decide. I don't care. But because I will not allow this system to carry on, that is why I will talk about it using my platform. We have reached 69,000 subscribers. I'm telling you, by the time we reach elections, that's where we'll all be reporting. We are going to, they've closed Prime TV. They're planning to close Movie TV. Lily Motam's YouTube channel is there. You can't close my YouTube channel. If you're looking for a job, we work together. You are reporting from Mansa, Chinsali, Chilila Wombwe, Shangom, whatever. You are getting paid. You are reporting what's happening. Social media is powerful. Never underestimate social media. Where did HH meet me? Where did HH meet Biflo? Where did they meet all these guys? Nowhere. But you see, you are trying to push all these things and we are watching. Our eyes are open. And we are just saying, look, we have the power to put you away. The same police that you command today to arrest and break bones of the youth will be the same police that will arrest you and put you in that cell. The same police are not happy. Chela Tukuta's arrest. Have you heard anybody say, oh, when I went to see Chela Tukuta, they were rude to me? None. They are also not happy. I have police congratulating me in my inbox. Well done. Police, where's uniform? I received a call from a police officer in Sesheke. They are hungry. No food. And yet we, and yet we can see Madame Dora Salia. Since they want to be respected, Madame Dora Salia hosts a press brief to talk about social media insults. When we've had a serious issues, the gassing, we've had UNSA students facing the tear gassing, we've had a child being killed by a stray bullet because an overzealous police officer uh, decided to shoot. You never address that. And then we have PF cutters that storm a radio station without a permit. It is illegal. I don't care whether you are a cadder or not. You cannot budge in my house in this country and you go scot-free. You go to jail for trespassing. PF cutters interrupted an interview of Mr. Hakainda Hichileme. Do I need to be told that there is hatred going on? You can see it. And when they did that, I spoke to the guy, I found him now. He's contacted me. The guy is now under threat because he spoke his ground. Why should we be told it is impossible for you to speak? And then Madame Kandoluo has the guts to say, we have, our offices are open. You can come to us and speak. Hello, madam. By the time this letter I write to you, comes to you two years later, she wants to set up an organization that will empower the women this year when they've been in office for five years. Where have they been all these years? Today is when you want to set up an organization in a hurry. That's why we need to push Bill 10. Bill 10 is a scam. Why are you trying to push Bill 10? Bill 10 is very important. It will help you. In fact, the human rights organizations, you should teach the Zambia. 
when Bowman Lusambo was whipping people, he infringed the rights of the Zambian citizens. Because you cannot whip anybody for no reason. I'm not wearing a mask, so what? I go around the streets of Britain without a mask. No one has whipped me before. So who is disobeying the law of the land? So today is for you. Tomorrow will be for us. And for those of you who are mocking the Zambians who went in a bush, <laughs> so they went to protest and you call them heroes, shut up. Because what they did, you cannot do. Because you are bootlicking these small, small chola boys that hang around the president who was also once a man that was never a president. And today, because he is in leadership, you are bootlicking. Tomorrow, you, the same people, when another person becomes a president, you will be the bootlickers again. In life, it's better to stand on your ground. A wrong is a wrong. We cannot be looking at all these things here in the diaspora. And we have to raise funds for people. And one poor man will say, they just clean toilets. Yes, we are cleaning toilets because you've never given opportunities to Zambians in Zambia. I've never had a job in Zambia. Who will hire me? I have to open my legs to get a job. I have to pay 50,000 kwacha to be deployed to another town. Corruption. And then when we talk about these things, you want to arrest me for speaking. You want me to come to your office. And when I come to your office, you would tell me, oh, Annika, 50,000. We land us on Facebook. No. We are the future of Zambia, and it starts now. And I will say this, whether they like it or not, 2026 will be run by a youth president. I'm telling you this. Because enough is enough where we see the rich getting richer, the poor getting poorer. Mr. Mkuka was shooting a video of kids just today. It's on his Facebook page. Why? Because when Lusaka City Council receives the money, the town clerk is thinking of how he will enjoy his holiday in Dubai with his girlfriend, Linda. And they don't care about the welfare of the Zambian citizens. That is our cry as the people of the diaspora. I don't condone those that come on the platforms and insult the head of state. No, we have even distanced ourselves. But when we are crying, it's because we receive pressures where we have to do overtime, where we are abused, insulted, to let people mafi, all in the name of taking people to school in Zambia. You think we want to do these jobs? No. Who wants to be there? Ukupi this is why we do it. And then you stand there. You are great too. So mock a Zambian who sacrifices for people in Zambia, which you should be looking after. But because you have the money to spend on extra marital affairs besides your wife, you have this girlfriend and this girlfriend. And you expect us to watch our people suffer. You expect us to watch our people in poverty. We see Chinese bosses mistreating our Zambian people, locking them up. And because we're in the diaspora, we shouldn't have a say. No, we will talk about it even on our YouTube channels. That is a pain of a Zambian. Where people have to go to the bush and speak. Because if 
they go and speak in the streets of Lusaka, the police are waiting with guns, ready to kill, ready to shoot, ready to tear gas, because they have been given instructions. See how the police were armed. They were able to be deployed to go wherever, but during the gassing, they don't even know who was doing it. Corruption in Zambia. People are suffering, and we should keep quiet. Enough is enough. If you have not felt the pain as a Zambian in 2020, you will not be here saying, I will support this government. The pain we feel now is the pain you should take when you are voting next year. I'm telling you, it is not easy when a family member is calling you. When strangers are calling you. When a stranger is telling you, she, she well on a woman called me the other day and all she did was cry because the Kada has decided to take all her maize. She was supposed to get about more than 100,000 kwacha. She was in tears. Tatule fire, ukwisa kuchalo chesu. Tuka sange, ama foreigners, eba lechita control chalo chesu. At the end of the day, when anybody in the diaspora dies, where do they go? Are they buried in the UK or in Zambia? That is our inheritance. Zambia is our inheritance. Some people will say, you are busy there talking where you are. Do we have a choice? Do we have a choice when we have bills waiting for us in Zambia? I know women who work every day of their life. They have no social life in the diaspora. All they do is work. That is what people in the diaspora are doing. We didn't come here to eat bread to drink juice, to eat in fancy restaurants. We came here on a mission to liberate our people in Zambia from poverty because the system in Zambia doesn't allow our people to have an economic empowerment or to have opportunities for them to be better in life. Somebody will have a job. And when that person has a job, Before you know it, that job, they lose it. Because the minister or the MP or the time clerk has a family member who needs a job, so they fire you. If you see the emails I receive daily from Zambians, Chilam Pesha, honestly, if I could start, if I could have an admin, and I just say admin, very nama emails. People write me pages. Pages. If I do a live stream one day and I'll just be reading emails. Is this Zambia? Because we are abroad. No. I wasn't going to know certain things that are happening in Zambia if people weren't sending me information. Because of a video I did, miners from NFCA, I didn't even know there was a mine called NFCA, were released. The video is there. A wife of one of the miners came to comment on my video to say, I love you, Lily, because of your video. My husband is at home. They were kept in a dilapidated condition. And the government has ministers like Charles Banda that feel protecting a foreigner 
is what we need instead of protecting the citizens of Zambia. Mao Sampa was our hero. He went and conquered the Chinese and said, look, this is not China. When you do this, we are not allowed here in Zambia for you to do that. You cannot be putting your price tags in Chinese and then we see a paper, Chinese language, that is about to be introduced and a Zambian will call me stupid. Slowly but sure, Zambia is being taken by the Chinese. Slowly but sure, it's okay you can learn the Chinese language. Why can't they learn Bemba, Tonga, Lozi, Lunda, all the 72 languages we have? We have to learn Chinese. Whatever contracts that the government have signed with the Chinese, we don't even know because they've never been transparent. Mm. And those contracts are the ones that are making them push for Bill 10. And those agreements are the ones that are making them to behave ruthless. And those agreements are the ones that even made, for the first time in Africa, Chinese police reserves in Zambia. We have made history because of selfish leadership. We have made history because whilst all these things are going on, our president went to a church the president made a speech in the church. Now I'm church. Where you? 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 For how long will we be fools in our country? For how long will we be treated like second-class citizens in our own country? You speak. You receive a call as a threat. Chela Tukuta was arrested illegally. The guy shouldn't be in custody. And the charges would turn around to him suing those that ordered his arrest. Chela Tukuta is not a threat to the public. He's not a threat to the government. This is a battle between Chela Tukuta and personal people. People have called me names. I can choose to take them to court or not. That's why I love this country. Because in this country, even if I call the police, say somebody called me this and this and that, they will say, call a lawyer. It is not our job. The role of the police officer in Zambia is being abused. See the fuel that they've spent today. See the cars that they've deployed today. And yet, we are always told there's no transport when there's an emergency. But today it was possible. That is the Zambia we have. If you knew what diaspora people go through, you will never insult us. If only you knew, you will never insult us. You have made Zambia a place where some are enjoying life because they are cadres. And they are part of the ruling party. And the cadre has a right to insult. An illiterate, a grade two, like I call them. And you, a graduate, you have to babysit a cadre. Boss. Boss. I should call you a grade two boss. And I'm telling you this. Next year will determine. Unless you decide to vote otherwise. But next year will determine their fate. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. Abana Kutibafwa. Kutibabe Paya. And that is the generation of Zambia. After all, our life expectancy is up to is it 35 years old. So by the Abananga Bafwa. Tulade Bambi Bafiawe. Their plan didn't work. So I just wanted to encourage you that 
Today, they have the power to do what they want, to say how they want to say things. Tomorrow, you will have the power. And I don't care whether they kneel down or say hallelujah or praise the Lord when they come to campaign in your church or your constituency, they need to be out. That's just the way it should be. They need to be out. How dare you say, I want to tell your children they shouldn't turn up because what's going to happen? And you issue a threat like that. Who put you in that position? Who made sure you are in government now? The same people that you went kneeling down to are the people that you are insulting. Are the people that you are sending thugs to insult. Life is about turn by turn. Today you are smiling. You are driving Range Rover. Tomorrow you will be under investigation as they take all your assets. And believe you me, it's going to be like a circus when they collect your assets. And then we have Chulufia Tayali who's also trying to issue some certain kind of propaganda talking about they went to protest. And I'm thinking, shut up. If you are concerned about your belly, we are not concerned about our bellies. We are thinking about the future of Zambia. In schools, no desks, but you can hold a press brief, which will probably cost you five million kwacha or ten million kwacha, but you can't buy a desk of 50 kwacha. Misplaced priorities. Mismanagement of funds. And we say, how oh, will things improve? It's possible with the right governance. This government has failed. In fact, Zambia is being run by ministers. Overpowerful ministers. Too powerful. Look at the cars. When I, my heart jumped this morning. Honestly. Honestly. You were ready to kill. You were ready to do whatever to the youth. Honestly. The youth have spoken. We have gold in Zambia. Manganese. <laughs> we had our gold being stolen. We even had illegal miners. They were mining illegally. And our president stood on a crime scene and asking, oh, so we're, they were digging without a license. And yet we have poverty in Zambia with all that gold. Some of you, you've got contracts and tenders with the government, so you will babysit them. You will, you will laugh at us. You will mock us. But I have seen people who had a good job, who had good opportunities in Zambia, they fall down. Life is turn but turn. I would rather you shut up than you speak. Because the way the universe works, our ancestors are not sleeping. How can we be poor when we have opportunities to be rich? And we call ourselves a Christian nation. And yet we have leaders who don't even care. 18th October. We're going to have a prayer session and you will go there and pray. Because we are stupid. We are dumb. Uh, we follow leadership. Yes. But umwana. Ngaleita mami, 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 mami. Aita mkuinga. The child will be rebellious. 
What is going on now in Zambia has been caused by the current government because they allowed cadres to take control. They allowed bullies to be in positions. How I wish the president can one day make a statement. How I wish one day the president can address this matter. And I thank God that all of you have been peaceful. But like I said, life is turn by turn. Even the churches are scared to say anything because if a church speaks, they're part of this political party. I've spoken to bishops. I've spoken to pastors. Why Bishop Tamanerandako? No sister, no daughter. If we speak, they're saying before by UPND. If we speak, so we have to be quiet. When I say I listen to an audio, it's not a lie. I listen to an audio, it's on my phone. They were saying the whole movement was going well. And PF youths also wanted to join until they were told that UPND is sponsoring. So they are looking for the secretariat of UPND. How did I know that? I have the audio. In fact, I will email that audio to my phone, to my email. So that tomorrow, if they say, oh, they try to do anything, I have the evidence. Because it's not my voice. Enough is enough. We are tired. We want a better Zambia. We want a place where you and me can be comfortable. We want better clinics. We want better facilities for the Zambian people. That is all the Zambian youths are asking for. Tetiawana, 60%. And Madam Kandolu was saying, oh, some of them, they are there on the computer. Instead of them using that opportunity to come and give us ideas, we bring ideas to the ministry, write down proposals, and the cadres take the idea and give the deals or contracts or tenders to their family members. Corruption. So who is going to help a Zambian who is gifted and talented when you try to pitch an idea? She says, oh, you could be using social media to pitch ideas. Yes, we'll write a proposal, we'll write everything. And the cadre will get everything exactly the way it is. Change the name of the person who wrote the proposal and register a company and submit it and get $17 million tender of a pharmacy which doesn't exist. That is the government of today. Thieves. Corruption. But this government is stealing too much. Embarrassingly too much. Nelson Lelo, the bicycle came from Japan. And Mr. Chifuta, I even know their names now. Mr. Chifuta was confident. There was a ceremony. Japan gave them the bicycle. And then Japan says no. And then now it's India gave them the bicycle. We cannot be looking at these things taking place in our country. And then we'll be quiet because we are scared of being... Oh, Madame Kandoluo said... Why are they using social media? When we try to approach these people, they are attacking us. When we ask for permission to protest, they say, no, you cannot protest. Social media is the best thing that happened to any African youth now. To anybody. Because we can express our concerns and they go viral. There's an audio of an who was talking to a youth from Kawe, threatening the boy. Th literally threatening. I've posted the video on my YouTube channel as well. It's on B Flow's channel. This is our evidence. If we try to pursue most of these to even the International Criminal Court, I'm telling you, a lot of them will go down. It's just that we take high profile cases there. And Mao Samba, 
the only person who was trying to change a bit of things. Now they are tapping his phone. They are checking the messages he receives. Who sends him messages? They've told him to shut up. You know, Madam Joyce Nonde, the Minister of Labor, doesn't even give a shit if people have been paid. Because if she gave a shit, she would make sure people are paid on time. How do people work in a COVID-19 center for four months and they're not being paid? How do people work for Lusaka City Council? Four months, Tawafulapu. How do people work for Kawe, Chipata? And all these are emails I receive from these people who are complaining about them not being paid. So if a tweak LFSZ, and the only way they've silenced the civil servants is by telling them you are not allowed to speak about government. Uh, so the civil servants are crying. Three months that to have fallen. So single women, what do they do? But tamper my relationships with counselors. They are attracted to the person. But because you do it. If you, Madam Kandoloo, are concerned about the rights of the women of Zambia, not being called prostitutes and whatever name, uh, madam, make sure they are paid on time so that they don't have to sleep with anybody in order for them to survive. Because if people are paid on time, would they be opening their legs elsewhere for people to call them prostitutes? No. The foundation is broken. Before you start talking about social media, let's deal with the roots. I want to have to one better, we shall follow. I want to have one better foreign investors. How can somebody be getting paid 600,000 or 600 kwacha reversed, obviously, a month? Who are quoting and Umuntu who are quoting and 600 kwacha. MPA on Pelava and Avandika Stenama chips. Pathetic. How can people live on 600 Kwacha Mwevan? What Jushi was If you call yourself a labor minister, we can have laws. I am a lander to have a color for 5,000 Kwacha a month, 3,000 Kwacha a month. Mbam to Kasumina. E Kulila Kwamina Zambia. But to the that to a chula six hundred kwacha mwevan ni renting shumundu angadi pira. Tell me, please. Private hospital and tinentu ni shinga scan if ye. Elo miso we are making noise. I'm a miners. They are mining, getting a lot of gold. I'm talking about billions. Kukopa belt, NFCA. Eko ba lungu wai na ribbon. One thousand five hundred kwacha a month. Umuntu ya pamo gold, risking their life. Ichi fuwa Dust ya mumu god. Nga yafu maida dust ya mumu god. Umu Chinese ya mele. Ah! Welele ni popanshu pa mumu god. Labor minister ndui mu office. Abandu mu Zambia bare chula mu chalo chamo. And the people who are foreign investors have the priority over a Zambian. What is your legacy? What will people remember you of, Mrs. Joyce Nonne? Simo Koko, Kulast. What will people remember you of? Charles Banda, what will people remember you of, sir? Honorable Boma Lusambo, what will people remember you of? Boxer. Arabale Tutoba Makofia. At one time, 
Castro Chilua was untouchable. The guy would come to any pub in one corner and pee. You don't touch Castro. Who are you? You dare touch Castro, you're dead. He shot one la lady I knew from Avondale. Pia! In the leg. She even had an injury. I think she even became disabled. Who dare touch Castro? For those of you who knew Castro those days, Chiluba. Castro died like a chicken, a pauper. Life mwe wantui isende ni wino. You are in that position by the grace of God. You are in that position because the people of Zambia have said, Muntu wandi, tula andine kwa iwe, tuwa kubika kwa hapa, elu wambu kubatuka. Imagine Fonko came to me. I did a live stream for those of you who watched a few days ago. From Seshike, a police officer. They called one of my business lines. Mubewe walili. Patula ndireko. Kuno, nama pipi ita tukwete. We don't have. But meanwhile, if you go to the Ministry of Health page, the page is well decorated. Just a few days ago, they received some donations. But people don't have PPE. That's why I say coronavirus in Zambia is a scam. Because if truly we have coronavirus, it is not even a good thing to say, but in the UK, we've had 41,000 deaths. Tatusela to Kalamumayanda. From home to work, back. The only place where I go for shop was to coffee for a coronavirus. Not coronavirus. Maternity ward. Since I was a baby. Since I was 10. I was 5. I was 4. I was 3. UTH has never been changed. Kale kale. Aba anu kufiyaro bele fiyaro apanshi. Manamai. Where is the dignity? Pressure. Na manese spalasti. Ichufukushi chaba. Now I understand why manese sometimes wano ufu ichufukushi. They'll just talk anyhow. They're not being paid. Six months umu tutafola. That is a Zambia we have. So now Chela Tukuta has been um, moved from Lusaka. Takuri case. What is the case? To Copper Belt Tundola. So that the guy, the foreigner, should sue Chela. It's not even a criminal offense. Mwabikama foreigners ahead of your Zambian people. Mukarira. And I will say this. Any Zambian who dies... Because they are trying to fight for their freedom. Their blood is on your hands. It doesn't matter whether it's one. Their blood is in your hands. With the blood. All we are crying for is to penico ama opportunities avantu. Put the school facilities better. If you can finance Ama toll gates, five million dollars, Ama road, the roads. Hmm? We saw a video of Mr. Haka in the Hichilama yesterday. The road that was already constructed, they are reconstructing again because the person has been given a contract. When I was in Solwezi, the same thing has been happening there. They give themselves the contracts, the cadres, they collect the contracts. All they do is grade the road. And they take the money to Dubai to enjoy. Buy cars, buy this and this. They don't care. If you can put grade tools in the forefront to run the country, this is what you get. Because they are thinking of how to get fatter and fatter and fatter and how they can make themselves richer. We are asking for youth employment. You, not even employment, empowerment. Why should a youth study engineering and be at home? They will type on Facebook and you say they should be doing useful things. Which useful things when there's no jobs in Zambia? 
At least, instead of them being depressed. Because the whole situation is depressing. Imagine a Chinese investor selling alcohol in our country. What type of canongability do our people have? Chinese are Come to Zambia to sell us alcohol. What type of investment is that? What type of development is alcohol bringing to Zambia? Because an investor should bring development. An investor should bring employment opportunities at least that will support the Zambian people to be better. Not kulababa chakolwa. At one time, the owner of Tujili Jili became a billionaire foreign investor. Tujili Jili, 50 kwach, abaichabari pena, all over. Malen wafe Tujili Jili. That is their social life. Because Tujili Jili, you can go outside, walomba kwa umuntu 50 kwacha, 20 kwacha. You've made your money for your Tujili Jili. Our youth are wasted in pubs, alcohol, drugs, because there's nothing for them to do. Street kids are roaming around the streets because our their responsibility is so the state is supposed to look after those street kids. Tulalolelemiti isha HIV for our family members, our friends who have HIV all the way from America to come in 2020. Nishini life yashani. Nishini life yashani. Some boy saying, get your facts straight. Nest gets every month and those days delivering on the floor is gonna be nest. Like I said, I'm talking about COVID-19 people. Because they are the ones who called me. Next queen says, I lost my son in 2018 because of negligence by UTH. I waited for an emergency C-section for five days and my son died. At they lost my foul imagine. I will never forgive them. Chinese are selling phones in the streets. That's Muhammad. Chinese are selling phones in the streets. In, in Solwezi, we even have uh, Chinese selling food. We have Koza Lodge because we're supposed to start a, a, a mobile phone company. Obuchushi Kuzambia Mwachiramu. And that's just a fact. So today was all black. And we are here to protest because whosoever um, is in power pledged allegiance to the Zambian people. I promise to serve the Zambian people, not I promise to threaten the Zambian people. No. Casinos. I didn't even know that the casinos were run by the Chinese. The time when the president made a speech and said, uh, we can now open the casinos, restaurants, and everything. So I was like, why is the president opening the restaurants? Because it's not safe. There's coronavirus. And somebody commented on my YouTube channel. That is because... 90% of the casinos are owned by the Chinese. I was like, oh my God. And I believe the Chinese are the ones who are going to fund the, their campaigns. So they have to babysit them. So this is why we've protested. No. But we're saying, how can you give too much liberty to foreign investors in our country? Mm -hmm. Lisa has just said, you see, sometimes I wonder when people come and comment, when we are on WhatsApp groups where people donate things to all these places and we, there's a lady we're helping who goes to UTH and she takes videos. And Lisa says she's lying. No order at UTH. People still deliver on the floor. We've, we've got videos on our WhatsApp group. It says that, Why should we be exposing on, on social media? We've seen those things. So when somebody is coming here to argue, I just look. You know. So investors in our country. Yes, it's good we have investors because they provide opportunities for us Zambians. But 
what type of an investor is this that starts selling alcohol in our country vegetables like people are posting eggs chicken zambian person can't even own such a business you reap what you sow and believe you me the same cheerleaders like Chulifia Tayali, who are cheering you on now, will be the same people that will say, <laughs> I always knew. They'll flip. They'll flip. In Salapa, Zambia, it doesn't only affect the Zambians in Zambia, it affects every Zambian. Because there's no way a whole entire family, at least we have somebody who needs our help. So we go through this pain as well. Your pain is my pain. My pain is your pain. Irene says there's no order to TTH. I lost my uncle in admission one. It was a sorry side. People were lying on the floor. So I don't even understand why she's saying uh, I'm lying when we have pictures and videos on WhatsApp which I cannot disclose on social media. So this is what is going on in our country. When we protested, uh, when we talked about these things on social media, a Boma Nusambo issued a threat to the Zambian people and quickly, quickly, Kings Malembe Malembe had to ask for forgiveness because he knew the Kadas are very ruthless, you know, Baba shops. So that's what I wanted to say. Uh, be encouraged. Don't think your efforts are not being recognized. Uh, people know that is why Madame Kanoluo said the people in the diaspora. Uh, I'm, I'm, I think so far I'm the loudest from the diaspora. Um, plus our sister who needs help, though she didn't say things in a nice manner. Chinese are locking our fellow Zambians for months. I. If I, if I show you the messages I receive, you will know why I started talking about these things. It's not to put our country down. It's because we want the better things of Zambia. Mm -hmm. Somebody came to my Facebook. You are a disgrace, my sister. You are embarrassing Zambia. No. I cannot be pampering a government that I know they are not doing their job properly. Let me tell you a secret. Each time they have meetings at the embassy, if you have seen me there, tag me on the picture. Tag me, please. If there's an event at the Zambian embassy where they are meeting, whether it's the president or whatever, tag me if you have seen me there before. I don't like hypocrisy. I can't be dining with you when I know you're stealing. I can't be dining with you because... Oh, no, the only person I dined with was Michael Chilfia Sata because his vision was different. He bought everybody drinks. I mean, expensive alcohol and food and gave us flowers as well. And his speech was powerful. He said, if the diaspora people can come back home, come and get the land or else the Chinese will take over the land. That's what he said. And he was right. The Chinese have taken over most of our land. Some of you only know Lusaka. If you drive from Sulwezi all the way to Lusaka, the whole of those bushes, which you think were bushes, are taken over by the Chinese. Betha, 2026. Betha is asking, uh, why can't you come back and stand? If you into need time, everything has time. We have time. We have enough time. At least we've started the movement. We are talking about these things. We give it five years. We carry on the way we are talking. Even if it's the next government, we keep on talking. We talk, talk, talk. By 2026, we are strong and wiser. So that's what's going on. So we protested. Uh, it was powerful to see our Zambians. Some young people are still tagging me on their videos. I'll be sharing once in a while. And we've shared on our social media. And as you can see, we have made an impact. BBC Africa have even talked about the protest. You know, 
whether bachwa mumpanga or not they have done what they had to do in peace that's why it's called a peaceful protest it was air dry they have expressed their concerns because if they came pamanda hill pa kids ngabachwa shooter because those are the instructions that they were given if a young boy was shot ngabakalamba we don't want that so helen is asking about the update of Chela, Josephine, I am blocking you. You are very stupid and don't use fake accounts. If you want to talk, you talk in a nice manner. You've started trolling on me since I don't know when. I, I don't know those type of insults. You're pretending behind that page. You are, you are the same people who come and lie even on my page to say things about me. Where I am today, no minister has ever given me one dollar. No political party has given me 50p. My bank statements are there. I can show you. Um, the border between Zambia and Zimbabwe, a massive hotel is being built by Chinese for easy transportation of all our resources. And there's a latest as well. I've blocked her. I've blocked her. There's a latest as well that the, our buses are sending gold. They're transporting gold now. Uh, so you see, quite buses, they put a few cash money gold mush. They are letting them go to border. Yeah, they are letting them go with our gold. Um, obviously, this all this information it cannot just come from anywhere. Even the police are in the wake. They are tired. The police is tired. I'm telling you, 2026. It's a youth movement, youth company, youth. Everything, everything will be youth. And um, Madam Kanoluo, you know. Uh, if she's a sweet lady, you know, she's been working for long. Madam, step down. They're saying you're going to start these women's uh, uh, conferences and what, 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 what. Uh, until you're 70. No, 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 no. So Bill 10, no to Bill 10 on this day of protest. A bash Bill 10. Uh, fiance Fie. We are not happy about these things. We want to know about our gold. We want to know about our gold. We want to know um, about the money, the fire trucks. When the government you even held a ceremony. For fire trucks. At one million dollars each. Hey! Kwe na kubi pomuti moko. Fire truck. If I get an old fire truck here, we compare. It's maybe 200,000 pounds. And that one you said it was one million dollars. Ah! Ah! Allocating 17 million dollars to a pharmacy that doesn't exist. When? 17. Please, can you write 17 million dollars in kwacha? In my 17 million dollars, if you even say 50 kwacha, 17 million to a pharmacy which doesn't exist. And you expect us to be quiet. Impofu, shire chura, shire romba. I saw a lady, pamanda yu, I'm sure you know her, pala lomba pamanda yu. Na kamo anaso. But you see, 17 million dollars, vash, vash, rufia nyenda nama. Kwe na next year, baka kakawe. That's why they are pushing for Bill 10, Bill 10, and ECZ as well, for people to uh, register as voters this month. Why they want to do that is because we need an independent company. If it means the youth can raise the funds to bring an, an independent company that will monitor the elections, it's better. We can't work with uh, electoral commission of Zambia. No. 
We can't. If $17 million, 48 miracle houses, these things are happening, they will rig the elections by all means. For you know, even the Chinese are registering as voters. No. We need to vote for an independent government. This is why I was trying to introduce the biometric system in Zambia, including the voters' card. Whereby you are a voter, your fingerprints, everything is on the system, your iris, everything. That's what I was, I pitched this idea to, to the high office. I said, we need to introduce the biometrics. Now they show that they can't rig with, with biometrics. That's why by some Bika Kumbai, imagine 306 shanshamu. A lot of money. 17. PF economics. And then there was a video by ZNBC. You know, ZNBC is a puppet, you know, of the politicians, the current government. So what they do is, all they do is praise the current government. No, they've done this. Oh, they have done this. The minister is doing this. So they, they were praising. Oh, they donated 100 bags of millimil, 40,000 kwacha. Hey! 40,000 kwacha! 100 bags! So one bag is 400 kwacha. And then when you go to the shop, one bag is like 120. Okay, if you know, enough wear up a punch, but it was, yes, Africa, 170, should be 120 now. Ha! Hey. Mm. Ah, when you work up, voila, la. Mwadi shupawa zambi. Sometimes when I post my videos on my YouTube channel, uh, one thing that, there's a lady who commented, she was like, I'll stop watching these videos about Zambia and Pera BP. Honestly, too Arwala BP. It's too much. 100 bags of minimum, 40,000 kwacha. So, if you have a child, you great too. So, they've already stolen the money. We need more youths to be employed, obviously, in government, to have opportunities. And if somebody needs to be deployed, if you're a teacher or anything, not to. First, you have to pay 50000 Yesterday, was it two days ago, somebody called me to say, my niece was looking for a job in government. Mama, we're at 50000 kwacha. 50000 kwacha to get a job. If you want to be deployed, 50000 50000 kwacha ni shinga in dollars. You know, it's a lot of money. Yeah, 400 kwacha and it's a lot of money. So, 2021 would determine if the great tools will be enjoying their life or not. And the great two, uh, where you know, our term great two has gone viral, a lot of people are using it now. You know, our great tools, they, 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 they will be um, smiling if you don't vote well, but we don't want them to win the elections next year. That's just the truth. We are all confused as to who to choose. But it's a case of we don't have a choice. But I wish political parties, the opposition, can come together and form one party. It's better. But one seventy five to put a problem you have foot. So if we can have and form one party to be powerful. You know. Sylvia is saying talk about the gassing. I have done loads of videos on my YouTube channel about gassing. Um, about the gassing, uh, obviously, we've never known the, the person who was responsible for the gassing. But um, we obviously, we've heard that Sparks Mining was arrested um, for other issues. And after he was arrested, uh, we've never heard again about the gassing, Kumakopa Belt. But the gassing was even in Lusaka. Now, the thing is, you see, Abantu Ababadi changed Asana. Sparks Mining... He could have played a smarter game. Yes, you are a uh, Jarabo, you are now successful and are making so much money. And then you start dining with them, and then now they turn their backs on you. He should have just maintained the way he was doing it, helping people, copper belt like that, without even being part of uh, politics. It would have been better. Um, Chela Tukuta, some people are just coming about Chela Tukuta, Chela Tukuta is in dollar. Uh, you know, central police, they don't have a case for him in Musaka. Um, he was detained unlawfully, Chela. He was. 
you know if even if somebody insults me no police can arrest me for insulting even if the person is racist no police they can just deal with the person like that you know uh, he shouldn't have been arrested uh he shouldn't have been arrested at all yeah so Africans in China, they don't allow them to own anything at all in China. Okay, I just want to say something as well. Um, there's a, a, a an African guy, a black guy, who died a few days ago because the Chinese refused to treat him in a hospital and he has died. Um, it's a very, very sad story. I'm supposed to shoot a video about that. It's really, really, really sad. So, in Ghana, on, on, you know, a lot of people ask me, did you finish the world? Oh, not all of them, buddy, but we, you know, for me, it's just that I don't like, you know, eh, chava so like playing victim news, but to the woman, we see how they behave. It's just that I'm a laws here, and that don't mistreat people. But a few days ago, a nurse, a qualified nurse, has been exposed. She commented. Also, but can they go back to the bushes, these African people? Can you imagine? They just hate us like that. And for me, I, I not everyone, don't get me wrong, not everybody have a low self-esteem, but quite often I'm over Monaco thing about Pum Sun Shiba African life, you know, they've arrived. But if you're proud of who you are, um, you never, you never, um, if you're proud of who you are, you will never feel like you need to submit to someone. Only if you're with this person, people will, will categorize you as you are special, you know. You can be proud of who you are, you can be where you are in life without associating with yourself, you know. You know if so sometimes I get surprised when people say, Oh, sanga Awe, I don't, you know, I, I don't need Musungu. I'm okay like this. Somebody was asking if I'm married. No, I'm not. Hi, Aunt Angela from New York. Good to see you. I'm not married. And, um, but how come international students are not allowed to own anything abroad when Chinese people do so in our own country? E even in the UK, you can't own a house until you have residency. I'm talking about a house on mortgage or you can't, unless you buy it as an investor, but you can't, you can't even get a government house in the UK, which is a council house. If you don't have permanent residence, you can't. It's impossible. So we are so lenient in Africa about, you know, our laws, our land. We just give our land like that. Um, our Nensu, they don't even um, have that type of, uh, you know, privilege. They don't. If you buy a land here, you must be a millionaire from, I'm talking about generations or 1950 something. And then the land is passed on. Not now. You, How are you going to buy one hectare of land, 20,000 pounds, ka hectare, or ka acre? And then to build a house, you need permission to plan, to do it. No, it's impossible. But we, we, we give them all these privileges and opportunities in Africa, to have a suminisha, even when they are buying food, but queue. There's a time I was in ShopRite and uh, there was a long queue and then there was a white person who was standing behind here and then the lady was like oh excuse me can i save the customer ah ah ngai ne tene customer ah and it's real true the customer also who came from the back to come to the front and sometimes in pick and pay kuyama line ayeng ero amono musungu the white person is walking around they will call him excuse me sir come they will open the till for the person why we never pay a priority like that when they are normal human beings? Are we? Shouldn't be like that. Okay, where are you now, sis? Are you in Zambia or what? I'm in the UK. Like I said, even if I'm in Zambia, you won't even know that I'm in Zambia because I don't announce that I'm in Zambia. You see. Uh, Conrad says, great woman, I've been really watching you. You have a passion for your country. We need powerful ladies like you. I mean, that's why I refuse to study nursing. Whilst all the Africans, let me tell you about this country, by the way. A lot of Africans, when they come here, um, they do jobs or go to school. Obviously, you know that people are here to survive and do, you know, certain courses in order for them to, to stay here. And nursing is one of them. So when I was picking a qualification, I was looking at what can I do in order for me to give back home? 
So I chose social work because I know all those areas I talk about youth employment, you know, poverty, orphans, disabled, it's all under social work. That's why I studied social work. But you find that they are all studying nursing. If you study nursing, you are stuck in Britain forever because Zambia, the nurses here get good money. I'm talking about 2,000 pounds plus a month. So why would they come to work? It means they are stuck here until pension age. So I wanted to do a course that will bring me back to Zambia and social work. I did social work, then I did my master's in human rights law, gender conflict and human rights law. Kebi says, in Russia, you can buy a house even if you are just a student. Oh, Russia is good. Isn't that where some speed is studying as a student? You see? So, that's what, um, that's why I never chose to study nursing. So sometimes uh, you're talking from that side. If I really wanted to stay here, I would have done nursing so that I should also stay in this country until I'm 65. But uh -uh. I want to be in, Zambia. I'm 37. I want to be in Zambia by 38. Proud of you. Yes, so social work is a, is a great course. So that's what I wanted us to talk about. Um, it's been obviously a successful day, peaceful. Let whoever laugh at us, let them laugh. At the end of the day, history has it all overwritten that on the 22nd of June, Zambians across the world, they protested, they came on social media, they wore black, they spoke about their concerns of Zambia, whilst other Zambians on the 22nd of June mocked Zambians because they are cowards. And then Madame Kandolo said that people who type on social media are cowards. Do you see, that's the problem. Social media is our means of communication now. We are not cowards. We are expressing ourselves. Yes, mostly in America. America is different. Ah, America, chalo. Mm. Okay, Alice, you've been Alice. I've seen you even on my YouTube channel. You've come to say things, and I blocked you on my YouTube channel, and I'll block you here. Let me first answer you. Alice is saying, uh, I'm talking about uh, Sia One insulting the Zambian president. No, I'm talking about Rachel insulting the Zambian president, but Sia One did. Now, let me tell you this. Is Sia One a Zambian? Is Sia One a Zambian? No, he's not. Is Rachel a Zambian? Yes, she is. One day, Rachel will want to come to Zambia. And her name will be at the airport. And they will detain her for insulting the president. Look, we took a kowafuma. That's just the way it is. Don't insult where you come from. That's why when we speak to la landa, to a ponta, to a ponta, to a ponta. But pantry ule ya chicken and chips, ule noa juice, ule ya bread. Every day, we took a noko. We took a whistle. We took a goafuma. You don't know tomorrow. God forbid. And the government says, you are not entitled to stay here. Go back to your country. Ukayakwe? Ukayakwe? The same Zambia. Baka kupokele na wino. I receive you, my sister. No. Sia one has never insulted the president. Ukukunshuku. Rachel did. I think he says words like idiot, eh, this stupid, but he's never said uku, kubak, uku, kubu fiash. He's never. Rachel did. Te tutu ke omu fiashi to that level. No. No. I will not tolerate that. I don't care whether our president is not the best president in the world. There is no way you can insult the man to that level. He's not your age. He's not your age. Temuchinshi. Nanguchinga ngali pasan. Even my own boyfriend or husband, I can't insult him to that level. Kulandoko. Ah no 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 no. Ah well no. She went overboard. Do let's call a spade a spade, please. You listen to what she said. It's too much. You were with him when he was drinking. 
Tefo bachitefio. You can't compare somebody who is not a, a Zambia. Ula na ishwe po e mini I don't know why you are even wasting your time. Si one is not a Zambia. Na ishwe tomorrow he doesn't need Zambia. Why doesn't see a one in South Buari? Ask yourself. Why? Have you ever see a one out to go? Buari abas? Because he knows that the airport of uh, Nigeria makamukaka. You joke with Nigeria. Kuya kwa mama assassins. Not if you today angala protest protest. Nigeria. He wipe you out in a minute. Na kwa kwa na kuna Nigeria. Kuku sa Africa. Kuku tu mavi omundo kuya. Wipe him out. You joke with Buari. You fight Buari. <laughs> Buari is a joke. Ule na isho po ya menine. He's not a Zambia. So nga le tuka. Ale na nef. Ale na nef. He's expressing himself. Atuka, 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 atuka. Na isho titaka. He's not a Zambia. He's got a home in Nigeria. You ya a Zambia. Kula ku Netherlands. Kula sungu kudia. He's not your home. He's not your home. After all, there are policies that when you are old, we are home. Is that where you want to be? When you are 60, you will come to Zambia. Perform. And when you are there, you are coming to Zambia. Say, hey, but I took it. No, 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 no. It's, it's not even dignifying as a woman to use such. Hmm? Yeah. So, that's what I was saying, that that's why him, he can say this, he can say that. Because now he should tell it to can chalo chakubia. Yeah. Tandiwa said you can uh, respectfully disagree with policies. No need to insult. See one is a devil. I don't even know why people give him audience. No, as see one, we give him audience because we wanted him to reveal the secrets. So we needed to babysit him. I've said it on my channel. Because he says he has the data. So, we started babysitting him. To pay the To pay the ashi. At least, he's been given, um, given us to data. He comes with data. So, that's what we follow. But if he's talking about his spiritual side, how to do the tatutama Because it's not our, our agenda is to know what deals there are sent them on Zambia. Because he says he was connected in Zambia. That's where we are focused on. Not his spiritual side. Hi, Elton. Oh, no, 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 no. Let me tell you, if you remember the Bible, hmm? but there are the two sons, the two sons that found, their, one of them found their father naked, drunk. The boy went inside, came out laughing. Do you remember? The Bible is there. And the other son went, ah, what are you talking about? He went, closing the eyes, covered the father. And started going back. Why did the child do that? Because Temuchi Shukutuka Abafiash and that same person who was second didn't even receive the blessing. Uraumbi watch the cover is all who even received the blessing. No matter how Balungu Balufianya, you cannot call him Kunch. Ah, no, 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 no. I don't agree with that. Ah, Ashani, no, we can't. It's impossible. I want to do sana. It's not good, you know. Thank you, Nelly. So, for real, like Precious is saying, see one has data. So, if you conquer coffee, data, I got to pay until he gives us, then we'll stop following him. Since he says he has the data, you know. Hi, children. Yeah. Yeah, clear. Like this guy is saying, Kambu, he's, he's using last name Kambu. See, one has clearly stated that he'll never set a foot in Zambia, even if HH wins. He won't. He won't. What is he going to do in Zambia? I learned no plan. He's in South Africa. He's not a Zambia. You can't compare. You are a Zambia. You must be patriotic as a Zambian. That's why even as we are fighting, you know, we want to see a better Zambia. But there's no way we to cover head of state. Ah, no, 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 no. How do you feel? Yes, no, no. She made a mistake. She shouldn't have. Mm -mm. It's okay, she can say, oh, hey, Shashan, but, hey, ah, no, 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 ah, mm. yeah, ah, Juliet, I, maybe you, you, you didn't hear what she, she said, ha, mm. 
maybe you didn't hear what she said. That was talent. So when I said, "Hey, Iwe, let you come up here." She saw how we are cheering her. So when I saw it, I saw people were cheering her. I said, "Okay." And then Movita Sinawa did a video, and he said, "Ah, no." I said, "Ah, thank God I have another person." You know. Yeah, and you see, Zambia challenges. Now Landa San. Zambia challenges. So we should be careful for today Landa. Even if we are rebuking, we should be careful for today Landa. We don't want to grieve people. You know, you don't want to be an enemy. Yes, you know, if it were Tampoko Landa, if what we're talking about, what is going on in Zambia. Some of us, like me personally, I started talking about these things on my YouTube channel, Kale Kalefi. So when I started, people started following me. And, you know, Nigerians would say, ah, why don't you, Zambians, I said, ah, one day, their time will come when they will get to know me. And some of the people now are talking about these things, which I've been talking about. If you go to my channel, there are lots of videos there. So now, 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 now things are happening. If you talk about the Chinese village, you can now land up. Okay, land up. Now, but Kakambi Dwe is very important. If you see the way Alice Musuka did her video, it was nice. I'm her mentor. She, we are not friends. Mm. You know, she did a nice video. She never said, she said No, the Chinese, why are you doing this? To, you know, she was just like complaining. He apologized my band to he Yay! Bruna whiskey, ah, Zambian people. Mm -mm -mm, I'm a <laughs> Next queen, um, it's thank you for sharing your story. It's not easy. You know the story you shared is sensitive, and our condolences, obviously. Yeah, yeah, but Zambian. So Bakalanda, the girl in diaspora. She was even drinking whiskey. Zambian people might tell me yes. It's apple juice. I don't take alcohol. I don't. Hunger really does not choose the part you support. It does not choose which tribe uh, you are. But it hits everyone. Let's on keep. Let's keep on talking until we talk. Yeah. Okay. They have increased the bundles. The price of Airtel bundles. Yeah. Because of my taxes. So they have to increase. That's why the, the government is making money through our taxes. I ain't give fear. But people are still suffering. Uh, yes, the best video ever done. Keep it up. Keep me doing it. Yeah, Alice did a very good video. And even when, um, you know, things were said about her negatively, I told her don't respond. And she never responded. And remember, I am her sister. But I'm still standing for Chela. You see, it just shows you that surely a trefire, ukupangira poishina, impia, whatever, we would easily do that. But no, trefo kuleta idia. One day, one day, bakaboishani, the way they used to be as friends. One day, one day. Okay, we are not protesting against individuals, but bad governance, yes, corruption and everything. Lily, what do you think is preventing our country from progressing the system? I did a video yesterday, system, the system. Okay, thank you so much. I need to attend to my, you know, Zambian men, they need attention. Somebody was asking, am I married? No, I'm not married yet. I'm single. Uh, I'm single. Um, but I have children. If you want to know more about me, come to my YouTube channel. I've done a video titled single and stuck abroad i explained some issues there and the video is yeah people love it it's a video that i shot once and i've never gone back because I, I i shot the video when i was at the place where i just had to let things out you know and then there's another video that i've done about what i think about divorce and you know my relationship with the Ghanaian man they are all on I uh, think that's why I sound like that because I lived with a Ghanaian man for seven years. So I explain um, cultural differences to Adipusana for Ivantu. Yeah, so all those things, they are there. <laughs> Chichi, no, I don't take alcohol. No, I don't. You are right. But maybe if I'm offered wine, maybe, but I have a big bottle of wine. Some I've got lots of wines, but no. 
Okay, so that's what we do. We tell the truth and social media is powerful. Believe you me, uh, our messages are being heard, you know, all over. But the delivery is very important. Please say it in a good manner, not good to cover fiash. Mm -mm. Okay, thank you so much. I love you, I love you, I love you. I love you, I love you. Thank you for tuning in all the time. God bless you. Lily, can a perfect system progress with uneducated minds? That's why we need to dethrone them. We need to take them out. When they're out, if you have a leader who is educated, there's no way that leader will put in a bunch of clowns. No. No. Never been married before. Cohabiting. In a good night, by you carry It's not a good night for me. I need to attend to issues. <laughs> Keep it up, dear. You're doing great. So tomorrow we'll probably have a live stream because um, what's my YouTube channel? Lily Motams. Lily Motams. I have now reached 69,100 subscribers, making me the highest Zambian YouTuber, like vlogger with what I do. Mm, yeah. So yeah, tribalism. We'll talk about all those things step by step. We'll do a video, um, maybe live stream, talk about tribalism. And we need to bring all these leaders on my platform to talk about if they are going to bring in tribalism you know we are waiting to hear all these things <laughs> mm -hmm. zambian men need attention yes people think i'm joking that i have a zambian man when i need to watch rachel uh was it horrible ah it was net queen she was ranting a lot but on the part of edgar she shouldn't have insulted him like that you know at least you can tell him what type of governance is this what, what do you take us for? You govern us. You know, not just like, Hi, Demotola, my son. This is another young man I'm mentoring. His video is on my page. It's over 17,000 views. Love you too. Thank you for your time. Yes. I will never pretend to be what I'm not. If you want to know about me, just find out about from my family. Just ask they will tell you if one hour i'm not um tomorrow the other day you meet me that that stuff flip at my will be another person no this is the way we are and thank you so much for the donations we've made over 1200 pounds for chela tukuta and we are keeping the donations coming as well okay bino please send me a message on my inbox oh, let's take a fish <laughs> yeah watching from chawama oh good to see you yeah so um it's a good thing somebody said oh you're busy talking from where you are you're not here uh, very soon i'll do a video live in zambia protesting on my own i am here on the soil of zambia then nobody will see if you come and give me a hug you want so if you're more if we can protest from here and there. Okay, thank you so much. It's a girl Lala Motams, also known as Gilwapa Z. Um wanakashi wapa Zambia. I'm a Zambian YouTuber, content creator. Please come to my YouTube channel and check out some videos. You know. Yes. Hey, when I come to Zambia, you want to meet me. Yeah. Thank you so much. I love you guys. I always blow a kiss to all my subscribers. So they are used to it. They all they love my kisses. You're late. Ah, Walker, rewind the video. <laughs> Bye. Now, I'm going to talk to him now. Bye-bye.